Hello all, welcome to this first video where I will build a complete microservices architecture with Kubernetes and Spring Cloud. In this first video, I will build a Kubernetes cluster and my first microservice in less than 10 minutes. Ready for this quest? Just remember to subscribe to my channel and let's go! As I said in the introduction video of the playlist, I want to build a microservice architecture for a bookstore website. I will start with a dummy web service. Just to have an endpoint to test, I will create a Spring Boot application with Spring Initializer. Spring Initializer helps me to build a Spring Boot application with the needed dependencies, the Maven structure and the specified Java version. I will add just one dependency, web, to accept the HTTP request via a controller. Unzip the file and open it with IntelliJ. Let's first create a controller with a single endpoint. And now test it. Yeah, it works. I will now package this microservice into a Docker container. Nothing really complicated. I will use the Java version from Adopt Open JDK. Just take the jar file to the container and run it at the end. Three lines, as I said, nothing complicated. Let's first create the jar file and then build the Docker image. Here I have the jar file and now I can compile the docker image. And now run the container. Ok, I still can access the servers through the docker container. Ok, I have a Spring Boot application tested and running from a docker container. Now put this container into a Kubernetes cluster. Kubernetes is a service orchestration. It manages the services present in a cluster, which means that first I need a cluster. A cluster is a set of virtual or physical machines, which will be managed by Kubernetes. It's composed by a control panel, which will manage all the stuff and the nodes, which are the available virtual or physical machines. Inside the nodes are located the pods. The pods are available slots for the containers, for the Docker images. But a pod doesn't host a single container, but a set of containers, a set of similar containers but I don't think I can create directly a pod. I will handle this in a minute. So to run Kubernetes, I need an available cluster. 
If I were in the cloud in AWS or GCP, I will need to identify the available virtual machines and the other needed cloud resources. But I am on my own computer. How can I do it? I will use Unicube, which will create a small cluster in my own computer, which will create like a small cloud in my own computer. As I said, I can't directly create a pod. I can create jobs, which are tasks, which will be running once and then shut down, or I can create deployments, which are long-living services. I first create a folder where to locate all the Kubernetes configuration files. And now the configuration of my first deployment. Why I said never to image pool policy? To avoid Kubernetes fetching the image docker from the public registry. Only use the local one. But the local one is the one located in the cluster. For that, I need to build the docker image in the Minikube cluster. I will first link my computer to the Minikube environment. And now build again the Docker image, but this time it will be stored in the Minikube cluster. Here it is. Ready to test my first deployment with Kubernetes? Here it is my bot. And my deployment. And all the resources of my Kubernetes cluster. Great! I have my Spring Boot application in a Kubernetes cluster, but how can I request my dummy servers? I can't use localhost because it's hosted in Minikube. The deployment are long-living tasks and the services are public deployments. So I have to tell Kubernetes to use the previous deployment as a service. Now apply those changes to the existing cluster. And tell Minikube to publish the servers K8 service dummy. Okay, I have now an IP to test. I will take the local host address with the port which is mapped to the destination servers. Here it is, finally I can request my Spring Boot application hosted in a Kubernetes cluster. Let's recap what I've done. 
I've created a Spring Boot application with the web dependency with Spring Initializer. I've created a Docker file. I've built the Docker image in Minikube. I've created the deployment configuration file for the image. I've created a service configuration file to have the container publicly available. And I've asked Minikube to return me an IP address for the created service. And here's the endpoint I've created first. As I said, less than 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, and see you in the next video. Bye!